I put that through my heart. This nail shouldn't have hurt me so badly. I've heard of some hunters having strange powers. A high security key. This isn't just for any door. They burned me with that. I won't touch it. They put that through my heart. Science squad, we just escorted Stanford to basement level three. We're on our way up to help. First get out of here, then Stanford. This isn't human blood. You think we'll stay in Boston long? I don't think so. We hit the roof. This is the emergency override to open the cells. There's no way to lift it. The treasure department is quiet. Administrative Five paperwork. Purple squad. It's not it's sorted. A high security key. Paperwork. I'd be surprised if they were talking about kindred. List of confiscated objects. They have a werewolf? I don't like the sound of that. agents who participate in interviews. A voice recorder. It looks like it works. An A745C form. Who are you? You. What? Answer me. Never. If you... Then I can't let you live. I can't let them raise the alarm. Certificate number A745C. The sign-in sheet for agents on duty. Hmm. Even the SAD has to fill out paperwork. Hmm. A small steel key. Most likely the key to a locker. A badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. A 
badge with her name on it. Georgia Dern. It's no red implant, but... It's no red implant, but... They block out our voices to try to resist us. How clever. Crowbar rusted away. Patrol reports. Certificate number C521H. Look, a transfer form. These things belong to Amani. Dejan won't be seeing his child again. Someone was interested in the members of the Hartford Gentry. Pictures from the reunification party. It appears someone was interested in the members of the Hartford Gentry. but I don't have much time. Oh, I'm used to that with you. I know I haven't had a lot of time to call you lately, but don't worry about it. I like talking to you, but I know that your work. It'll be over soon. I'm gonna find a job that's a little calmer. That's not the first time I've heard that. I'm serious. We need it, and I don't want it. Wood, I really care about you, that's all. Oh. I'm sorry, I gotta go. I'll call you soon, I promise. I... Hello? Hi. Is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm on my way to a party now. They're waiting for me. Oh. Cool. With who? You don't know them. I... Okay. Can we talk soon? I've been busy for the last month. Um, I'll let you know. I understand. Sorry. Bye. It's been a week and I haven't heard from you. I miss hearing the sound of your voice. Liz... I can't take this silence anymore. I just can't. Please.
this week's schedule, the agents' names and ranks. Put that through my heart. Good. The cells are unlocked. It's open. They don't need an excuse to turn us into a pile of ash. Three heavily armed guards. I don't like these odds. Michelle, you don't seem pleased to see me. Gala Bazori, the bird of ill omen? Oh, I'm thrilled. We'll discuss the past another time. After Franklin Park? I've no desire to ever talk to you again. I had orders. Your presence is always a bad sign. And if they find you here, I, I, I don't even want to think about it. Everything will be fine this time, I promise. This is going to mean trouble for me. They'll start again. Leave, I don't want to talk to you. Fine. I understand. I'll leave you be. The door is stuck. Someone, or something, tried to force it open. side takes over. Attention! Reinforcements needed in Wing B-77 immediately. All undesignated agents must leave their stations and head there on the double. That doesn't sound good. That's you guys! Shit. Let's go. Hmm, it's my lucky day. It shouldn't be hard to get rid of just one guard. Meet me there. Suit yourself.
he's alone, I might have a chance. An ideal cell for a werewolf. What have we here? A lost soul. I know what you are, dog. Then be very careful, leech. How did you end up here? By no choice of my own. They must have gone all out. Your kind are particularly tenacious. I was hunting in the Blue Hills. They had been tracking me for some time. I was careless. I wouldn't be so quick to chalk it up to imprudence. They were well prepared. I gutted a few of them, but they knew what they were up against. When I get out of here, they'll become prey. There might be a solution. What do you mean? We could come to an agreement. If I free you, you clear the way out, and keep your distance from me. Work together? There are just a handful of guards standing between us and freedom. That shouldn't be too difficult for you. I'd rather take you with me to my grave. You're going to change your mind. That's highly unlikely. The SAD. They've tracked down your pack. What? You're lying. Like all of your brethren. The worm twists your words. Mount Greylock. That's where they are. Shit. What do you think will happen next? Shut up! Give me your word. I swear by Gaia that I won't touch a hair on your head. For tonight. I can't promise the same for the other leeches. That's not my problem. Hunters are toying with forces that far surpass them. It wouldn't be wise to let him out. Bodies need to be 
taken to the hospital. Make room for them, but don't leave them lying around. You're out. He's out of control. First, I'll need some answers. Damn it! Just do what I ask already! What happened? The mortals attacked the Red Salon! Wouldn't just leave me here, would you? Your honor... You dare speak of honor. It's not a question of my honor. You're my sire! Have you forgotten what that means? I haven't forgotten a thing, Beryl. So then why did I become nothing to you after I was embraced? Why did you let me stray? I did my best. It wasn't enough. I felt so insignificant compared to you. I was nothing but your plaything. <laughs> it's not surprising the prince won't let you take another child. You certainly aren't an argument in favor of it. You, Caleb, are responsible for what I have become. I certainly am at least partly to blame. Come on! Open up! I don't want to stay here and descend into madness! I can feel it clawing at my guts. I don't want to go feral. Try to calm down. This behavior is beneath you. Enough! I don't want to hear it! I've already told you, we are monsters. We may put on clothes and disguise our deathly pallor. As long as we've had our fill of blood, all is well. Oh, the sire is giving his child a lesson. It's been so long. <sighs> I don't have time for your accusations. Then what are you waiting for? Let me out! Go. Find blood and get to safety. And I don't need you getting in my way. I'll see you at the Prince's quarters. here. At least they didn't destroy that. I didn't expect to find something like this here. Hey, a creature of the night. Just kidding. We don't see a lot of agents around here, especially in the middle of the night.
blank bodies do that to you? Yes. <laughs> My last job didn't go so well. I heard you complaining before. Oh, it wasn't important. It's just Paula. Hmm. I don't know her. Paula Nielsen. Stanford's protege. You look tense. Does she bother you? Only when she wakes us all up with her screams in the middle of the night. Why? She has nightmares. It's not the first time. Stuff from her previous life. We all went through some bad shit. But she's having a hard time getting over it. Despite Stanford's help. In what way does he help you? He listens to us, for starters. I was forced to do stuff that I'm sorry about. Awful things. Stanford doesn't judge me. He knows it wasn't me. I was under the influence of one of those beasts. Is it the same for Paula? No, it's even worse for her. She drank their blood. She's bound to one of them. She talks about it a lot. Keeps her up at night. Sometimes, she dreams that she's one of them. And that she likes it. What are you looking for at this time of night? I need to see Stanford. Do you know where he is? No, but I bet Paula does. She always needs to talk to him when she wakes up like that. I saw her go into the reconciliation room. Thank you. I'm gonna stay here a minute. I need to calm down. Something for my head. I hope every night isn't going to be like this, damn it. Breathing your way to inner peace. A book by Barton Fields. That's unexpected. My head hurts. These notebooks are full? That must have taken some time. This notebook is blank. A selection of contemporary music. Ugh, how awful. A heavy smoker, or someone who's stressed.
decor is soothing. This place is full of surprises. Mm, this need to write everything down. Is he afraid to forget something? Annotated pictures. As if to help someone remember. Pills. Needs help sleeping. a name on it. Adam. This bracelet looks old. There's an H engraved inside. Take a nap tomorrow. Galen! I'm sorry, I really must hurry. Stanford isn't in his office. He can't be far. But how will I find him in this labyrinth? Let's see if there's anything that could help me here. It must be a blank implant. Hmm. These people travel a lot, but under high surveillance.
This must be some sort of implant engraving device. This must be some sort of implant engraving device. This appears to be a program to engrave an implant with an ID number. Where did he put that? There's no time to lose. Higher clearance required. There's nothing I can do. It won't open. Rather simple. Stanford has doubts. Higher clearance required. That's very precise. Where do they get their intel? Higher clearance required. Higher clearance required. Can I help you? It's all right. Everything is fine. Really? Let's drop this little game. Excuse me? I saw your picture in Monsignor Stanford's office. And yet you don't seem afraid of me. I spent 10 years bound to one of your kind. You call that a servant? I call it a slave. You're not from Boston. No, I'm from LA. But my mistress ran into trouble there, so we had to leave. We've been nomads ever since, never spending too much time in any one place. 
How did you end up here? I found myself alone for the first time in a long time. With nowhere to go, no reason to live. Then I met a man who spoke like a priest who said he could help me. So I followed him. What exactly is this floor? A safe haven where we care for tormented souls. It's where they brought me after my mistress left. I really lucked out. Helena abandoned me in a city I'd never been to, with no warning. Helena? Helena Vidic. That's my mistress. Does the name ring a bell? I've never heard that name before. She talked about leaving. She'd get these strange urges. Yeah, I know all about that. She said I was brilliant, that I deserved my place with her. She promised to embrace me. So why did she leave? Who was she for you? Are you kidding? She was everything. I lived for her. You can't understand what it's like to place your fate in someone else's hands. I... I was so dependent on her. Monsignor Stanford taught me to fight that. Stanford? What does he get out of it? Nothing. He has nothing to gain from it. From me and everyone else here. He's helping us. Really. Helping you? To do what? To make up for the pain we've caused. It sounds like you have a new master. It's not like that. What he's doing is important, and not just for me. Tell me where he is. He should be here. I wanted to talk to him. Where then? What do you want with him? You didn't answer me. You're afraid of him, aren't you? You're here to kill him. That's all your kind are good for. You know what I am. You cannot defy me. I might surprise you. I asked you a question. That's all there is to it, am I right? Barking out orders to your servants? You have no respect for us. We do much more than give you orders. We pluck you from the gutter and offer you a place. Our society requires people like you to support it. And people like you need us, too. I was in need, that's for sure. But I could have managed on my own. Really? I don't know. Maybe. You're lying to yourself and you know it. The real problem is that there's something inside you that makes you abandon us. You bind us to you, and we become dependent on you. It's like a drug. Don't you have any qualms about leaving us behind? You're not our children. Your survival is your own responsibility, whether we are there or not. That's what I thought. So you're no better than humans. All your promises about eternity are nothing but bullshit. Stanford's trying to save us. I want to get my old life back. Stanford isn't trying to help you. He's just trying to weaken us. 
He'd be wasting his time with me, then. I'm not from here, and I don't know anything about you. No. You're wrong about him. You're wasting your time here. You won't tell me where he is. And there's nothing you can do about it. It's your choice. You will forget all about this conversation and stay here. I don't feel very well. I'm going to stay here. Now, how to find Stanford? Where did he put that? Oh my god, your face! What happened? I crossed paths with Stanford. And you survived? My objective has not changed. Really? What did you expect? You'll do whatever the heavens command. I'm quite certain the future has some surprises in store for us. Surprises? Your initial failure could be a sign. Stanford is a very resourceful man. There's a reason the Vatican chose him to be in charge here. No one is irreplaceable. Not him. The entire Boston operation depends on him. He is unique. You'll see. What if you were destined to meet him, but not to kill him? Stanford is a dead man, but first, I have to find him. This path is yours to walk alone. Mine shall lead me far from this place. Why are you here? I'm just collecting a few things. From Stanford? I'm leaving. I've made my decision, but not before packing what I need to elude them. Go in peace. I hope we shall meet again. Be careful what you wish for. Goodbye, Joseph. Hmm. Stanford is the linchpin of this operation. All the more reason to eliminate him. I'll be able to locate Stanford with this computer, but which one is he?
clearance level. Higher clearance required. Higher clearance required. I've located Stanford. There's no time to waste. I can get to the hospital by taking the elevator. well protected. Luckily, I was able to keep this implant. These marks are unusual. Might as well take it. I'll take a nap tomorrow. I hope Paul will knock it off. I was expecting more resistance. Either they're overconfident, or their attention is focused elsewhere. All right, Stanford is in the hospital chapel. He won't see me coming this time.
Hmm, they've gathered his things to send to his family. Hmm, will they also get a medal and a pat on the back? It's in better shape than the morgue. They didn't expect to have so many casualties. Uh, what the hell am I doing here? Uh, we, we've got to go back. Uh, we have to. It hurts like hell. But I showed them. They've already lost many men. He's done his own translations of whole passages that deal with the power of faith. Sounds like someone's trying to understand his own abilities. She died instantly. May she take her research to the grave. his presence. I've never seen anything like it. An enormous beast. I don't know how I'm still alive. Chris! Can you hear me? Shit! He was answering a few minutes ago! <coughs> Can you call for someone? Chris! How many innocent lives did you take to get here? It's time to put an end to this. I would be impressed if I wasn't so tired of all this. This time, you're alone. You can't harm me. None of your kind can. I forbid you to come any closer. My faith is my shield. To be able to turn us away like that, that's a rare gift for a mortal. Some of us don't even believe it's possible. You have failed. Not yet. You're not infallible. As long as I have God on my side, I will be. I'll break you. You and your faith. A touch of bravado. Now that you're cornered, nothing can stop us. You're done for. That's enough. 
Get down on your knees. Please, Caleb, not with me. Your pitiful efforts to reach me won't change a thing. What's your plan here? To put a stop to you. By killing me. We are Legion. Killing one of us won't make the rest of us vanish into thin air. I beg to differ. You are the cornerstone of this operation. If you were to disappear, the Society of St. Leopold would withdraw. We're not the only ones committed to this fight. If you truly trust them, then why take over control here? They needed guidance. You should never have exposed yourself. The Inquisition of Boston will die with you. No one will continue your fight. All of this energy wasted. Why? I have seen the consequences of your crimes. I have dried orphans' tears, tended to gaping wounds, calmed tormented minds. You spread your plague like rats. You feed off the human race. You're nothing but parasites. At least I don't deny my true nature. I know what I am. A creature superior to you mortals. But we're not just talking about humans here. You profane the very Earth with your presence. From the shadows, you manipulate the fates of civilizations. You bring famines. You stoke wars. You seek to take control of the entire world. And you'll be the cause of its ruin. What about you? You live in secrecy. You lie to those you feign to protect. No government dares stand up to you. But we're doing nothing more than defending them. For now. But that's how tyrants are born. You're no better than us. I smell nothing but destruction in your wake. What would you have me do? Faced with a creature stripped of all emotion who sees you as nothing more than cattle. I've lost count of the number of dead bodies and broken lives. Fire is the only path to redemption. Down to the very last. That may be what you believe. But there are others who disagree. What? The head of the SAD thinks he can use us to his advantage. And he's not the only one. Like so many terrorists moved like pawns on a geopolitical chessboard. I will never let that happen. It's above your pay grade, and you know it. I... must try. In the end, only one question remains. Why do you continue to fight? when the outcome is already decided. You gave me the location of your hideout. It will soon be purified. Your demise is inevitable. Why do you refuse to accept it? You can struggle. It's the natural order of things. The fight will only heighten my primal instincts. No creature can resist the Almighty. I am here for only one thing. I am a monster. Your predator. That's impossible. You're my prey. A sheep that has become separated from his flock. I'm hunting you. I'm going to show you the price you must pay if you come after me. This is impossible. Now. Stay back! Deus meus! Father! Why did you end
Richard, what are you doing here? Hazel sent me. I'll take over from here. She planned for everything. You best go back to see her. What do we do about him? I'll take, I'll take care of him. Tell her, Tell her the SI, SI is under is control. Is under control. Good work. Good work, Caleb. <laughs>